Okay. So with this story, we have a lot of S in yeah, S and S linking, S endings and linking of S, right? So this is a good thing for us to work on here. So when we have our first sound focus, we talk about the sound S. Is it voiced or voiceless? S, s, voiced or voiceless? Uh, s, s. Voice. Okay, put your hand on your put, put your hand on your throat and feel. This one is voiceless. So the voiceless. sound is voiceless. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we I can think. The SSI, yes. Okay, so when we think about. Um, sometimes when we think about snakes, we hear the sound hissing, hissing sound of a snake. So sometimes we use that sound or the image of a snake hissing to remember the sound. And remember in English, the sounds are always coming out. So when you say s, if you put your hand right in front of your mouth, you should feel the air. Try it. Yeah. Okay, you should feel air. Because the air has to rush out. You have to be using your lungs to push the air out. Now, this sound in English can appear at the beginning, in the middle, and at ends of words. So we have some words that start with a sound like these. Some. 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 Side. 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 Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Here's one with a beginning and middle. Sausage. 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 Now here's one with the, the one with the sound at the end. Miss. Miss. This. This. And at the beginning and at the end. Since. 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 Six. 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 All right. So remember this one. Although it's spelled with X, it has a K and a S ending. Six has s at the beginning and s at the end. And C-E also, that spelling, usually has a sound like an S. So the word since has S at the beginning, sin, s, and it has its sound at the end as well. Then we have some sounds s in the middle of words like juicy, 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 recent, recent, recent. Listen. 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 Dancing. 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 And we also have S combined with other uh, consonants. So we have a blend of SW as in the word sweat. 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 We combine with M for small. 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 We combine with T for small. Stomach. Stomach. Okay, and remember this word sta stomach. Mick. Mick. Yeah, with that C A has like a K sound at the end. No, stomach. Yeah. We can combine S with P for spot. 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 Okay, now that's sound focus one with a voiceless s Voice. when we add voicing we get z so the position in the mouth is the same, but we add the voicing zzz, and we feel the sound here, zzz, the vibration here. Okay, voiceless. Voiced. Good. Right. All right. So. Do you know which one is more common in English? The voiceless or the voiced zzz. Which one is more common? Hmm? What, what is? Uh, depend. Okay, so, oh, well, of course, in each word it depends. But which one is more common in words? Do you know? Um, I think voice. Okay. Voiceless. So, actually, the voiced sound zzz is more common. The letter S is more common in writing. Yeah, it's okay, the letter S is more common in writing, but the sound Z is more common. So, because lots of times the letter S, it's a tricky letter, we think the primary sound is S, voiceless. 
But its secondary sound, z, is very common, especially when we talk about plural nouns and third-person singular verbs and possessive nouns. Then the final s most of the time sounds like z and not s. All right, so let's start out with some easy ones where we have letter Z, because when we see the letter Z, we know that sound is going to be voiced. So how about this one? Zoo. 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 That's voiced. Zoo. That's voiced. Zoo. Zoo. Yeah. Zero. 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 Zip. 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 Zone. 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 All right, that's where the Z comes at the beginning. We also have Z in the middle of a word like lazy. 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 Losing. 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 Easy. 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 Design. 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 And we have some at the end like buzz. Buzz. Now that buzz has two Zs in writing. Buzz. Right. Okay. Now, our other words have um, could not only be a Z, but also, as I said before, the S at the end, but it's voiced. For example, the most common I-S is, that's voiced, is. All right? It's, so it's like a Z, but it's not like a Z. It's not a Z in writing, but it's like a Z in spoken English, is. And same thing with H-A-S. We don't say has, we say has. Has. Yes, has. Has. And of course we have the Z followed by a silent E as in the word realize. 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 Good. All right, so um, let's do a little quiz. I'll say a word and you tell me, you show me with your finger whether it's uh, voiceless, like mm -hmm. sound focus one, or voiced, like sound focus two. All right? Zoo. Second. Zoo. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you show me this way, it's hard for me to see your fingers. If you show me this oh, way, I can see you. Okay, if you didn't see me, okay. Yeah, okay. Two. Sue. One. Sue. Sue one. Right, good. Okay. Race. Race. Race one. Raise. 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 Yeah, yeah, two. Okay. Plays. One. Plays. Plays two. Place. Place one. Place. Place Zit. One. Zit. Zit. Two. Zit. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Sit. One. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's go to sound focus three. That's about syllables and word stress. Um, how many syllables are there in the word shoulders? Two. Two. Where is the yes. stress? First one. First one, right. So when you mark your paper, you have two dots. One over yeah. the shoul, one shoulders. over the dole. Okay, so show that you have two syllables. And shoulders. when you're showing the stress mark, you should be high, low, like this. Shoulders. 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 Okay, how about healthy? Healthy. Two. The first one. Two and the first healthy. one, right? Two dash one. So healthy. Healthy. Right. Watch my lips and watch my tongue. Healthy. 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 All right. How about the word diet? Diet two. Diet What's two. Two one. Okay. Diet. 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 How about oranges? Three. Oranges. First three. One. Okay. Three, first. One. Yeah. Three oranges. one. Yeah. Oranges. 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 Stomach. Two. Stomach. One. Two, one. Two. Right, good. Stomach. Stomach. Okay, Stomach. remember? K, k, k. K, k. Yeah, stomach. 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 All right, how about this? Realizes. Three. The first one. Realizes. Good. The first syllable is stressed. How many syllables are there all together? What is the syllable stress code? Realizes. The first one. Yes? First one. Four, realizes. one. Yeah, right. Four syllables stress the first one. Realizes. 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 Okay, stretches. Two, one. Stretches. Two, one. Stretches. 
stretches. stretches. Okay. How about the next one? Rotates. Rotate two one. Rotates two one. Rotates. 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 Exercises. Exercises four one. Exercises four one. Four one. Exercises. Exercises. Good. All right. Let me hear you say all of those words. You go ahead. Shoulders healthy. Diet oranges. Stomach. Realize stretches. Stop right there. Realize. Realizes again. Realizes. Okay. Stretches. Rotates. Exercises. Try that again. Four Ex one. Exercises. Okay. Exercises. Exercises. Again. Exercises. Much better. One more time. Exercises. Very good. All right. That makes a lot. That makes it sound much, much, much better. Okay. Good. Now um, let's take a look at sound focus four, which the third person singular verb endings, and there are three verb endings. One of them was the voiceless ending, right? So just at the end, jump and jumps. I jump, he jumps. I jump, he jumps. We rotate, she rotates. We rotate, she rotates. I put, he puts. I put, he puts. I think, she thinks. I think, she thinks. All right, those are for verbs. How about nouns? We have plural nouns. I'm going to do one sit-up. No, I think I'll do many sit-ups, plural. Sit-ups. Oh. Yeah, that's plural for nouns. Sit one sit-up, yeah. two sit-ups. Two sit-ups, yeah. Mm -hmm. One minute, many one minutes. Okay, one minute, two minutes. One minute, two minutes. Mm -hmm. Try it again. One minute, two minutes. Okay. One sock. Two socks. One sock, two socks. You know, I always hate putting in two socks in the laundry and only taking one out. Does that ever happen to you? You put socks in the, in the, in the laundry? Do you ever yes. come out with only one? One sock and go, where's my other sock? Yeah, it's happened all the time. <laughs> it happens all the time. I say, where is my dryer eating my socks? Is my washer eating my socks? Or did I drop it somewhere because it's so much smaller than all my other clothes? Hello, sock, where are you? And sometimes... Sometimes I might, I might drop it in the pile with a different color. Do you separate your colors? Yes, the white one and color one. Yeah, so sometimes I find, oh, I dropped it in the wrong, the wrong laundry basket, so it, it will come out in the next one. Or sometimes what happens is it gets wrapped up inside my bed sheets or something large. And maybe I fold it all up, and many months later I go, oh, look, a sock came out of there. <laughs> One sock. Two socks. Now, when we have a person's name, like the person's name is Pat, something Pat. that belongs to Pat is Pat's. Pat's. Mm -hmm. This house belongs to Pat. It is Pat's house. Pat's house. Mm -hmm. See, Pat's house. Okay, and this pen belongs to Jack. It's Jack. Jack's yes. Pen. It's Jack's pen. Jack's pen. Now, if you notice all of these words, if you analyze the sound at the end of each word, you'll notice that these words end in a voiceless sound. For example, jump. Jump. Now, if you if you cheat me and don't put the P on there, then you think, oh, the final sound is ma 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 ma, and you're thinking vibration here. Then you might say jumps because you're forgetting the P. But if you remember that M is followed by P and P, 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 P is voiceless, then you know that the S has to be jumps. Okay? Jumps. Yes, very nice, jumps. Jumps. At the end of rotate, in spelling we have a T-E, but in pronunciation we don't pronounce the E, the final E is silent. So the final sound is T, T. That's also voiceless. Rotate, it rotates. It rotates. Okay, and put also ends with t. So I put, she puts. How about the sound k? Like k, think, think. I think. K. Again, if you just say thing, 
and you don't put the k on it, then you'll misunderstand thing. Thing nga 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 is, is a voice sound, and you put this wrong sound in the things. That's different. But if you remember that the nga is followed by k, k voiceless, then you have the s at the end that's voiceless. Thinks. I think. She thinks. I think she thinks. All right. Same thing for all of the other words. If it ends with a p or the t or the k sounds, then we have to add voiceless s sound. So very, very simple. Just remember these. P, T, K are the, are the main ways to spell it, but it's better to think of p, t, and k because the spelling doesn't always match the sound. Sometimes we have, like T, E, we have a silent E. Also, one more that is not very often used and also has a lot of um, irregular forms is the letter F, the sound F. I'll give you one example. Um, now, today I'm wearing a t-shirt, so I can't give you an example of a long sleeve, but if you were wearing a long sleeve shirt, suppose I had a long sleeve shirt on, and at the bottom of it, I have something that I have a button on, and this, is, this, is part, this part is called the cuff. C-U-F-F. -F. You know the cuff? And also yeah. on pants, if you're wearing slacks that are more formal, not like jeans, then they have a cuff. They're folded up at the bottom. That's a cuff. 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 Okay, now make sure the sound comes out. Remember the sound comes out. The air comes out. Cuff. Cuff. Okay, put your hand right here. Feel the air. Cuff. Cuff. Good. That sounds much better. Because if you don't make the air, cuff. Cuff. Oh, cuff. You see the difference? All right. But I'm taking my little piece of paper here, my little tissue, and I'm going... Cuff. Can you see that air? Cuff. 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 Very nice. That is the way to say it. So you have one cuff on your left side, your left left wrist, one cuff on your right wrist. The it's a pair of cuffs. Cuffs. Cuff. And also the cuffs on your legs. Maybe the legs of your pants are too long, and you need to have your cuffs altered, changed. So that's another sound. The sound F. The letter, the letter F the sound, makes a sound f, that often has a s ending when it's plural. We don't have very many words like that, so it's not so important as t, p, and k. Those are the main ones to remember when you have plural or if you have s at the end for the third person singular, that voiceless sound s is used. Now, let's do this in contrast with the second column where we add z. Now, remember this one is voice, z. I jog. She I jogs. I jog. She jogs. I jog. She jogs. I jog. She jogs. I jog. She jogs. Good. That was much better this time because you controlled your glottal a lot better. At, yeah. at the beginning, you had closed your glottal and you said, you, you closed your glottis and you said, I jog. That's I different. Jog. I jog. She jogs. Much better. Very, very nice. I do. He does. I do. She does. And remember, in this word, of course, we have an irregular change in the vowel also for ooh, uh. I say. He says. I say. She says. 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 Good. Now remember, this one also has an irregular change in vowel from a to a. Make sure you get the z at the end. She says. She says. We call. It calls. We call. He calls. Now we get to some plurals. One egg, two eggs. Wait, one egg, two eggs. Good. Do it again. One egg. Two eggs. Good. When you're thinking about it and you're monitoring yourself so that you don't use your glottis, then you're making the sound very nicely. One hand, two hands. One hand, two hands. One toe, two toes. One toe, two toes. Now we get to the possessives. So the car belongs to Nancy. It's Nancy's car. It's Nancy's car. It's Nancy's car. It's Nancy's car. The bike belongs to Jim. It's Jim's bike. It's bike. 
Mm -hmm. Good. It's, it's now, what do we know about the ending sound of the bass form? Well, we should think about it because mm -hmm. if we realize that it's voice, g g, we hear the voice in g g, u u, then the s letter will sound like z sound z. All right, so that's why the writing has to be separated from the speaking and listening because you have to know some extra things that are not clear when you just look at the letters. So if you know g g jog g g is voiced, then the s is going to be jog z. You have the z the voice, so we match it up. If its ending is voiced, then the z is voiced. Do does say says those are vowels. Vowels are always voiced. How about call? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, That's voiced. So call, z, call, z, z sound. Egg, eggs, same as jog, jogs, has a g ending. How about hand? D, d, d is voiced. So jan, hands is also voiced. Toe, o is a, a, a con, a vowel. A vowel. O, O, all vowels are voiced, so we add to, z, we add z to the end of that. Mm -hmm. Nancy, the letter Y doesn't have Y sound, it has E sound. Nancy, E is a vowel sound, so Nancy z is also voiced z. Mm -hmm. How about Jim? Jim is, the ending is mm, mm, lips together, mm, mm, that's voiced. So, Jim's is also voiced. Jim's. Mm -hmm. So, compared to t, p, k, that's only three sounds. In the second column, we have all kinds of sounds. So, if we have more voiced sounds than voiceless ones, then we should know that the sound z is more common at the end than the sound s. Does that make sense? Yeah. Statistically, the number of vowel vowels, all vowels are voiced, and the number of consonants that are voiced is much greater than the few t -k that are voiceless. So the many ending with s are uh -huh. going to be z sound. All right, and that's not obvious if we just look at the words in the book. Yeah, we just look at the words and we just see all the letters s. We know how to write them. But the spoken part, you have to really pay attention to how the sound, what, how the, the letters are sounding. Now, of course, we have one more category, and that is the extra syllable. The extra syllable. So some of the sounds in English have a hissing sound like s, or a buzzing sound like z, or some kind of friction like ch, j, sh, z. We have only these six sounds. When we put them in writing, and we add es on the ver on the verb like fix and fixes, that gives us a clue that we need to add another syllable. Not always, but many times. So, for example, the word fixes. I fix. She fixes. I fix the machines. She fixes the machines. Right. So we have the final sound is s in the word fix. We cannot put two s sounds together. So we have to add the vowel. That's how you can think of how we need to add the vowel sound there in front. It fixes, fixes. All right, let me hear you say fix. This. I fix. This. She fixes. He fixes. She fixes. This is. All right, the word raise. Ends with z. This is voiced. Z sound. We cannot put two z in the same place. We have to add a vowel. So we say, I raise, she raises. She raises. Good. Dress, I dress. dress. She dresses. dresses. She dresses. Relax. Relax. You relax, she relaxes. She relaxes. Very good. All right. So. How about um, one glass of water? More than one? One glass? Two glasses. Glasses. Good. Okay. Glasses. One sausage. Five Sausage. Saw sausages. 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 One exercise. Many. Exercise. 
exercises. 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 Mm -hmm. And when something belongs to Max, we said the, this watch belongs to Max. It is Max, Max watch. No, it's not Max watch. <laughs> it's Max what? No, it's not Max watch. Think again. You have to add another syllable in order to get the right sound. This watch belongs to Max. It's it's Max's watch. Yes, it's Max's two syllables. It's Max's watch. It's Max's watch. Very good. Uh -huh. This this watch belongs to Max. Whose watch is it? It's Max's watch. It's Max's watch. That's right. It's Max's watch. Okay. Okay. Say, look at these earphones. These earbuds. These earphones belong to Liz. Let's say Liz. Liz's earphone. Try it again. Try it again. <laughs> Try it again. I, I want to hear you perfectly. It's Liz's earphones. All right. Earphone. Right. Right. Is it one or two? Is it a? Is two. it a pair? Okay. So, all right. So one. make that that whole sentence. Make that whole sentence plural. Liz's uh, earphones. Liz's earphones. Good. That you it's did for the end of the sentence. So at the beginning of the sentence, do you say it's or there? Which would be correct? Which one is correct if it's plural? Plural? Yeah. This, um, yeah. We have to say plural. We can't um, say it's. What do we say? This is um make a sentence. If I say sister. yeah, who whose whose earphones are these? This is uh this is if us. No, try no. again. Fix that your is, grammar. Fix is. your grammar. <laughs> That's plural? They're Liz's earphones. They're Liz's earphones. They're Liz's yeah, earphones. Liz's earphones. Alright, so and you know, we don't have singular and plural in Vietnamese. We just have one way, right? We don't yeah. ever have to think about singular and plural in Vietnamese or Chinese, a lot of languages. We just say one earphone, two earphone, three earphone. <laughs> but in English, we have to have a S at the end, plus we have to have our subject and our verb agree. So we have to say they're Liz's earphones. Yeah, they're Liz's earphones. Right, they're Liz's earphones. Earphones. Yeah, uh, what's, your, uh, what's your niece's, your niece's uh, name? Christy. Her name's Christy. 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 How do you spell it? C H R I S T I N E. Christy. Okay, so how do we say this in English? We say Christine. Christine's my niece. Okay, now listen to the way I pronounce compared <laughs> to the way you pronounce. Christine. Christine. Okay, how many syllables and where's the stress? Syllable stress code, please. Two one. Two one is how you pronounce it. But Christine. everyone else pronounces it two two. Christine. Christine. Okay. Oh that two two? Okay, watch me. Christine. Watch me. Christine. 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 Christine is my niece. Christine is my niece. Alright, get a n at the end of Christine. Christine is my niece. Christine, my niece. Christine is my niece. Christine, my niece. Alright, let's see if you can do this. Christine is. Christine. Christine is. Christine is. Good. So we're taking this word apart. We're saying Christy and then Niz. Christy Niz. Christy Niz. Christy Niz, my niece. Christy Niz, my niece. Good. Do it again. Christy Niz, my niece. Again. Christine is my niece. Okay, that is so much better because when I heard you, I thought you were saying a different name. Now look at this name. Christine is my niece. Okay, now this one, how do you spell it? C H R I S T I E. No N. Okay? Christy. Now, I want you to know about this. This name is Christy. 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 That's different from Christine. Yeah, Christy. 
All right, so say those two names. Christy and Christine are different names. Christies and Christies. Uh, 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 try it again from thinking about your stress. Christies and Christines uh, 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 uh. are different names. Okay, don't <laughs> say them together. Now, let's just say Christine. Christine. Again. Christine. Again. Christine. Again. Christine. Good. Now say Christy and Christine. Christy and Christine. Good. Again. Christy and Christine. Again. Christy and Christine. Are different names. Are different names. 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 Now, the whole sentence. Christy and Christine's are different names. That's better. All right, now, next time you see your, your niece, how will you call her? My niece? Yeah, how will you call her? You're going to use... Okay, are you going to try your new stress and intonation this time? Will you call her Christine? Christine? Okay, yeah. so yeah, try that. Now, this name is... Um, is uh, What do you call it? It's borrowed from French. Uh. Christine. All right, now... I want you to tell a different sentence. Say a different sentence. I'll ask you the question. What is your niece's name? My niece's name is Christine. Okay, you're getting very good on your stress. Now pay attention to putting S or Z sounds or not putting them where they don't belong. Try it again. Christine is my, my. name. Is my niece. Okay, what's your niece's name? My niece name is Quitins. With a z on the end? She has z at the end? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think she changed her name. Let's try it again. My niece name is Christine. You did the Christine very well. But you didn't do the possessive noun very well. So, nieces. My niece's name. My niece's name is Christine. Very good. Now say that five times fluently. My niece's name is Christine's. My niece's name. Don't put S where it doesn't belong. My niece's name is Christine. And don't forget nieces, nieces, two syllables, nieces. My niece's name is Christine. Okay, slow down. Slow My down, take time, name think is about Christine's. it. Christine's. Take time, relax. My niece's name is Christine. Mm -hmm. My niece's name is Christine. My niece's name is Christine. My niece's name is Christine. Good. Whose computer are you using now? I'm using my niece's computer. I'm, I'm using my niece's computer. Um, my... <laughs> it's not right. Try it again. I use... Um, I'm using... I'm using... My niece computer. Nieces? No. Nieces computer. Okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah. I use it my niece's computer. I using my niece's computer. I'm, I'm, computer. I'm using. I'm using my niece's computer. I'm using my niece's computer. Okay, good. Alright, now of these three sounds z and is. I'm gonna say a word. You're gonna listen. And you're going to hear the sound and show me with one finger if it's two fingers, if it's zzz, three fingers, if it's an extra syllable. All right? Push-ups. Push up one. Push-ups. Okay? Oranges. Two. Oranges. Oranges. Extra syllable. Oranges. Yeah, oranges. Yeah, the zzz, the is, is extra syllable. It's oranges. Arms. Arms. One. Arm. Arms. Two. Z. Voiced ending. Listen, ar if it's s arms, s arms, 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 arms. Okay. Takes. One. Takes. takes. S -s -s -s. Good. Takes. Runs. Runs. Oh, is it? Runs. Runs. One. Runs. Runs. Two. Two. If I say runs. 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 Uh, dishes. 
Three, right. Extra fill, one dish, many dishes. Good. Goes. 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 I go, she goes. Z ending. Touches. Touches. Three. Good. It has touch, touches, extra syllable. Starts. 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 One. One ending. Okay. Uh, voiceless ending. Drips. Drips. One. Drips. One. Yeah. A voiceless ending. How about bends? Two. Two. Bends. Z ending. Bends. Very good. Okay. Very nice. Now let's talk about a little bit more about the uh, about linking. You know, I talk to you a lot about linking the sounds in one syllable to the next one. In the yeah. sound focus five, in sound focus five, we're looking at linking and reduction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say she jumps out of bed, we don't want to say she jumps out of bed. If we hear something like that in English, it sounds like you're putting a period at the end of every end of every word and you're stopping. So in English, we want to join the sounds together a lot more than in Vietnamese. I mean, Vietnamese and Chinese, the, 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 the words are more separate. But in English, they're more together. You link them together, sort of like flowing water. Did you watch my video? With the, yes, the, I thought, Yeah, the video with flowing water. So, you know, the, um, the uh, word fluent, the word fluent comes from the same root as the word flow. Flow mm -hmm. as in water flows, right? Mm -hmm. Not like ice cube clunk clunk clunk. So mm -hmm. if you pronounce it separately like this, it sounds very choppy in English. It sounds like clunk clunk clunk. Yes. But if you move the words together, it sounds a lot more and a lot smoother. So she jumps out of bed, okay. and the and the voice is still connected. The vo the vo voicing is still joining all of these words together. No glottal sounds here. So you have to keep your throat open here. That's why it's good to be aware of your your glottis inside your throat. Let me hear you say she jumps out of. She jumps out of. Okay, let me hear you say sout, sauda, sauda. Sauda. She jumps out of. She jumps out of. She jumps out of bed. She jumps. She jumps out of bed. She jumps out of bed. She jumps out of bed. Okay, so let's have let's do some of the exercises below where you just have a couple of words. An orange, an orange, an orange, an orange, an orange, all over, all over, all over, all over, all over, turn on, turn on, turn on, leave out, leave out, leave out, leave out, leave out, take out, take out, take up, take out, or take off. Take off. Oh, sorry. Take, take off. off. Mm -hmm. Take off. Put away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Think about. Think about. Think about. Think about. Think about. Look after. Look after. Look after. Look after. Look after. Good. When you say that first sound, can you look at my lips here? Lower lip on the upper teeth. F, 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 look after, 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 yes, okay, when we have, in English, we need to feel, and we need to feel and hear the air flow outside, so when you say F, F, and F, F, can you see the difference? Yeah. If you don't let the air come out, ap, look after, look after. See, there's, there's air look coming after. out. Look after. Look after. Look, okay, now work on the linking. Look after, look after, look after, look after. Look after. Okay, jumps out, jumps out. Jumps out. Jumps out. Jumps out. Puts on, puts on. Puts on. Puts on. Puts on. Goes into, goes into. Goes into. Goes into. His own. His own. His own. His own. His own. Arms and legs. 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 Push ups and sit ups. 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 
push-ups and sit-ups. Push-ups and sit-ups. Good. Lots of oranges. 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 Cups of coffee. Cups of coffee. Cups of coffee. Cups of coffee. Pen or pencil. 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 Up or down. 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 Look at us. 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 Look at Ellen. 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 Good. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Let me hear you pronounce the story. You want to work on the story? Yes. All right. Hang on one little second here. All right, look at me and see if you can say after me. When Liz, when Liz jumps out of bed, jumps out of bed, out of, out of, out of, jumps out of bed, jumps out of bed, jumps out of bed at six, jumps out of bed at six. She starts doing. She starts doing. She starts doing. She starts doing her exercises. Her exercises. Her exercises. Her exercises. Right away. Right away. Right up. Right up. Right up. Right away. Right away. Right away. First. 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 She stretches her arms and legs. She stretches her arms and legs. Stretches. Stretches. She stretches her arms and legs. She just stretches her arms and legs. Rotates her hands and feet. Rotates her hands and feet. Hands and hands and feet. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. Rotates her hands and feet. Rotates her hands and feet. And relaxes her neck and shoulders. And relaxes her neck and shoulders. Neck and neck and neck and neck and shoulders. Neck and shoulders. And relaxes her neck and shoulders. And relaxes her neck and shoulders. She twists her body. She twists her body from side to side. Side to side. Okay, now watch me. Not side two. Two is a number. Side to, to side, side to, to side. side. Side to side. Yeah, that's you're reducing that sound, right? Side to side. Side to side. Bends down and touches her toes. Bends down and touches her toes. Bends down and down and down and down and. Bends down and touches her toes. Bends down and touches her toes. And then raises her knees. And then raises her knees to her chest. To her chest. After she does, after after she does, watch me. After after after, after she does, 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 some push-ups and some sit -ups. push ups, some push ups and sit ups. She puts on her shoes. She puts on her shoes. Okay, watch my lips. She put lots of air. She puts put, on. She puts on her shoes. She puts on her shoes. She puts on her shoes and goes jogging. And goes jogging. Good. While she jogs. While she jogs for thirty minutes. For thirty minutes. Liz thinks about. Liz thinks about losing weight. Losing weight. As she runs, as she runs, she breathes deeply. She breathes deeply. Watch me. Deep, deep, deeply, deeply. She breathes deeply. She breathes deeply. Her heart beats fast. Her heart beats 
fast. And sweat drips from her body. And sweat drips from her body. Watch me. Body. Body. And sweat drips from her body. And sweat drips from her body. How healthy this is. How healthy this is. Watch me. How healthy this is. How healthy this is. She says proudly. She says proudly. When she gets back home. When she gets back home. Okay, watch me. When you say the word back, make the sound come out, not go in. You're saying back, back. You're kind of pulling back, it in. So push home. it out. Back. When back she gets home. back home. Back home. Again, when she gets back home. She gets back home. She takes a shower. She takes a shower. And dresses. And dresses. Then she goes into the kitchen. Then she goes into the kitchen. Watch me. O, O, O. Go, go, go. Goes into, goes into. Then she goes into the kitchen. Then she goes into the kitchen. And fixes breakfast and fish is breakfast 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 s t breakfast breakfast t at the end breakfast breakfast good she eats two juicy oranges she eats two juicy oranges three fried eggs three fried eggs watch me egg. Watch me. Eggs. Keep it open. Put your hand egg. right here. Egg. Okay. We, we don't want to close it. Egg, 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 egg. egg. See the difference? Egg. X, X. Eggs, eggs. If you watch egg. my throat, you can see. Egg. When I eggs. when I close my throat, X, you can see the difference. X and eggs, eggs. Can you see? Yeah. All right. So you want to make it not X, not not here, egg. tensing, relax it. Eggs, eggs. Eggs. Good. Now, fried egg. eggs. Fried eggs. eggs. Fried eggs. Fried eggs. Three fried eggs. Three fried eggs. Four bowls of cereal. Four bowls of cereal. And five thick sausages. And five thick sausages. Saw. Sa sausages. Si sausages. 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 She drinks two cups of coffee. She drinks two cups of coffee. Okay, here's where you say two. Not two. Uh, Here we say two because it's the number. She yeah. drinks two cups of coffee. She drinks two cups of coffee. Good. I'm oh, careful. Watch this. Watch me. Co coffee. 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 Can you see the difference? Watch me. Coffee. Co coffee. 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 Can you hear? Coffee. Can you hear the difference? All right, yeah. so keep this open. Coffee. Coffee. Yes. She drinks two cups of coffee. 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 Oh, she drinks two cups of coffee. Very nice. And three glasses of milk. And three glasses of milk. Suddenly, she realizes. Suddenly, she realizes what she has done. What she done? Oh no! Oh no! She cries. She cries. Look at my stomach. Look at my stomach. Now I have to go on a diet. Now I have to go on a diet. Have to. Have to. Now I have to go. Now I have to go. Now I have to go on a diet. Now I have to go on a diet. Very nice. Very nice. Not bad. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Okay. Now, remember one time I told you you were to recite the grasshopper, but I don't think you ever did that. Re recite the grasshopper oh, for me. <laughs> and, and you didn't. So next, how about next time you do the grasshopper and the and the and the uh, Liz's exercise program? You did a very nice job. Working hard. Good job. Yeah, I watch your video. It's helps a lot. It helps to watch the video? Yeah, Excellent. I watch the video. Well, that's great. Now, let's talk about our next session. Um, remember I said Tuesday I won't be available, but Thursday is yeah, good? Is Thursday fine with you? 
Yes. Okay, so yes. same time Thursday is good? Yes. Okay, let's do that. All right.